Moving on with the Shaw Brothers Shaw Scope set, and we have uh, Shaolin Temple uh, from 1982. This was a return to form, really enjoyable movie, but following on a similar kind of tale than we got in the Five Shaolin Masters. In fact, Five Shaolin Masters would have been better watched, I believe, after Shaolin Temple uh, because it almost feels like a sequel of sorts. In this one, we have the Shaolin Temple. And we know uh, a lot from Five Shaolin Masters that the Manchu uh, clan are ultimately going to destroy this temple uh, and scatter the, the, the remaining Shaolin Masters to the four corners uh, of the world, almost. And it's all about how you get there. So bearing that in mind, you're watching a movie where you're ultimately going to know where it's ending up of sorts and you get to see uh, these Shaolin monks decide that they have to um, expand their knowledge base, expand who they teach and, and expand um, the people within uh, this monastery because this temple, because the Manchu tribe are growing strong and ultimately they know they're going to come for them at some point. So they start to teach anybody that's willing to uh, learn and for the majority of the movie, it's super fun. We have a bunch of characters that come to the temple have to undergo rigorous uh, ordeals of, of what seems like uh, torture in the, in the willingness to learn various Kung Fu things that they don't actually know they're learning, whether it be um, stirring pots, whether it be turning pages on a, a pit filled with pointy stones, whether it be tied down with weights and, and being told to jump all day, every day. You get these wonderful characters, all who are learning these incredible martial arts without actually knowing they are learning incredible martial arts. It's one of those super fun uh, kind of ideas where all of a sudden they are, are told to do something and then realise that their body can just magically do this stuff. <laughs> but it's fun and you get to see uh, these characters grow and learn uh, with their abilities and, and know how to use them to the fullest extent which is incredible and then we have a side story of one of the monks ultimately betraying the Shaolin temple and filling in on the Manchus on what's happening and it's, it's a movie that's so much fun and easy going as we learn the characters as they're learning their kung fu and their martial arts. And it's so just smile inducing, colourful, bright, uh, enigmatic and just one of those really easy to watch movies. <laughs> But it's leading towards this final 15-20 minutes where all carnage is going to break loose, where we are going to have the Manchu versus the Shaolins, and we know which way that is going to lead towards the end as well. So it's a movie that has all this fun and carefree attitude with these characters learning their various abilities, knowing that at the end of this we're going to get a really downbeat ending with a lot of people we know and love being killed off. <laughs> But it does have some amazing scenes that I loved in the way in getting there. Now, the finale is great, the fight scenes are excellent, but ultimately uh, I, I wish there was a, a better ending for these people, but it's a needs-must uh, situation. But I, I do love a lot of set pieces in this, particularly the silly training. It's so much fun. And watching the characters try to cope with it, watch each other, kind of teasing each other about how they're doing, is incredibly uh, just engaging watching. You know, you feel as if you're part of a crew as they're learning their teamwork. You're kind of joining in with it. There's a, a wonderful sequence with two of our characters trying to go through a tunnel which is laced with various contraptions designed to beat them up, kill them, destroy them 
and it's just expertly played out. Um, like I said, the, the, the training montages are fantastic. I think my favourite was the the pointy stones where the person had to balance and somehow turn pieces of paper, which was incredibly fun. Uh, I, I wish I wish we could go <laughs> a happier ending, which is just showing where I'm going in my later years, is I want more happier endings for these characters. The only real bad guy we have here is a monk who's a, well, kind of a snitch, a spy, and ultimately the bad characters within this storyline are kind of one-dimensional, but it's good one-dimensional, kind of people you want to root against and see get their comeuppance, and they do in some wonderful fight sequences near the end, and it is a fallible character. Many will die, and they do across the course of this movie, which adds a little bit more to it. Shaolin Temple was a great return to form. I enjoyed this one a hell of a lot. It was uh, one that I, I really liked the way it was shot, the colours, the action, the learning of their traits. Uh, the martial arts on show was wonderful. I'd love to know your thoughts on Shaolin Temple. Of course, let me know in the comment box and we'll have a conversation about it. As always, there's more content up here. Hit the like button, it only takes a second. And join Patreon and membership if you really want to help support this channel. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time on Man V Film.